Pon, Poppy have question. Pursuit of learning is good thing. Ask anything and Toro will answer. Cloud Sea clearly visible from here. Height of Cloud Sea is different at different times. Why height change? Meme? Well, um... Tora, let Rex Rex answer that one. Rex, why cloud height change? Well, let's see now. And maybe it's easier if you compare it to the clouds in the sky. They come in all different shapes, right? Some clouds very flat, other clouds big and fluffy. Yeah, that's what I mean. And the shape doesn't stay the same forever. The cloud C is the same way. It's not always a flat surface. Sometimes it gets fluffed up. The height and shape of it isn't constant. It's always changing. Not suddenly like the weather, but gradually. It's more likely than not to change overnight. Yeah, that sounds about right. Very interesting. Oh, but it's only the titans like this one and the more ordained titan that affect the cloud seas high. Ones like the trade guild titan Goldmouth just float on the surface, so they don't affect it. Makes lots of sense. I guess that's about the extent of what I know. Very much thanks, Rex. Poppy learn a lot. Rex must know lots of things. Poppy have even more questions to ask. Oh, really? I don't know if I can answer everything. Poppy! Should not bother Rex Rex too much. Okay, then. Poppy, leave questions there for now. Thanks, Tora. I know quite a lot about the Cloud Sea because of my salvaging work, but I'm not so hot on general knowledge. I probably wouldn't have been able to answer anything else. Don't worry, Rex. If you don't know the answer, there's always a chance that I will. Thanks, Pyra. And if even I don't know, we can still fall back on Azurda. True enough. I've been around for quite a while, so I could most likely answer any questions Poppy might have. And there's Gromark as well. Between us, I'm sure we could find an answer to most questions. You're not wrong there. If all of us work together, we can figure out pretty much anything. I guess it's not just battle where teamwork is important. Yeah. Oh. And we're you. It's a nice change, exploring all rest. We're back here. This is where my whole adventure with Rex really began. Oh, right. This must be the spot where you and Rex washed up. Though we only made it here thanks to Gramps' efforts. And those efforts are the reason I'm like this now. Well, if you stayed that big, you couldn't exactly travel with us. I'd say you're just right. If I was my old self, I'd be able to carry you anywhere. Well, anywhere within reason. The world tree would be pushing it. Amazing! So how long it take you to get to Argentum from here? At the current separation, let's see... About ten days' travel. That long? You do it faster than that, or you taste the whip, is what I'm hearing. 
Of course, that's not what I mean. But that's like three or four days by boat. My apologies. I'm not as young as I used to be. What is point of worrying now Grant's not big anymore? True enough. That old body is a thing of the past. Well, I think you are adorable like this. I like it. Well, that's very kind of you, Pyra. Are you blushing, oldster? Tell me, Rex, do you ever wish I was in my old form? I liked it better when you were big. Oh, is that so? I suppose you found me very useful as a titan. Huh? I provided a home, carried you from place to place, not to mention the salvaging crane stuck you know where. That's not really what I meant. It's just that you were so big and dependable. Like a dad, or, well, a real grandpa. Besides, I knew you in that form for most of my life. Everyone else only really knows you like this. But I'm not used to it. Rex has a point. The time when I knew you before, Azurda, is very faint in my mind. This is the Gramps I'm used to. Tora cannot imagine Big Gramps. Puppy never seen Big Gramps, so also cannot picture. Right? That's what I thought. It's all about what you used to. Hmm. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Though I know you're really just pining for the days when you could travel in comfort on my back. looking at Ugh, I slept like a baby here is place word on street is this place serve amazing breakfasts mm. what is matter Boreas Simon begging you a while it's no good no good what is no good? I'm just not in the mood to eat the food here right now. Something wrong with food here? No, it's not bad or anything. It's just no good. I want to go someplace else. I want to go eat in Argenta. If go all the way to Argentum now, Tora die of starvation. Oh, it won't take that long. I'll just pop over and be back in the blink of an eye. Boreas is only one can do that. Come on, we eat food here. But I don't want to. Oh, calm down, you two. Boreas. Tell me something. What's your beef for this place? I wouldn't 
to say I hate the place. They serve some pretty nice food here. Then what problem? Menu has a big variety, so should not be problem with choice. Listen, there's just nothing I want to eat here anymore. <sighs> Even littlest little pawn is not that picky. I'm not being picky! The truth is, I already checked out all the food here before you all woke up. Boreas did what? Meh, meh, meh. Then food you were eating back at inn was... You got it! That was all from here! Oh, I've already had my fill of everything on the menu. Oh. <laughs> That's a Boreas for you. Got a tasty sausage at the finish line, and he'd beat the world's best sprinter. Boreas too fast for Tora. Tora cannot keep up. I demand a do-over. Great at the quarters of guard. Spirit Cutter! We can do even better than this. Great at the quarters of guard. Beam Spirit Cutter! Just what I was thinking. I'd like to learn more about salvaging. Why not? Wow. Wow. Sure. Good. Yeah. Laura, you move so graceful, like. Frankly, I'm a bit jealous. I've got that down to a T. Now I have to work on my cooking. Oh. Ha. 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 I am it. of your wares. Sure is. What you say is what you get. Alas, it seems the treasures I seek are nowhere to be found. On another weapon shopping spree, Perdido? That is hardly an accurate assessment. Unlike you, I am not in the habit of purchasing every weapon that I set eyes upon. Hey, I have some standards too, you know. You are too flighty, Troka. At least try to give each weapon the attention it deserves. Oh, shut up. I'm not the one with four arms and a weapon in each. Hmm.
Which weapon do you like the most? My preferred weapon. Hmm. I think I have none. I could not call myself a warrior if I discriminated between the tools at my disposal. The spear, the axe, the sword, the hammer. A true warrior should be able to wield all with equal proficiency. Each weapon has its strengths and its weaknesses. As a wielder of four weapons, my greatest strength is that I can use whichever the situation calls for. Mastering four different weapon styles? You really are serious about the art of battle, Pedido. I don't think many people could do that. It is not an easy path, for certain. But I believe with enough strength of will, nothing is impossible. Come, I will show you how it is done. Wow. Well, good luck with that. Glad I'm not this guy's driver. What do you mean by that, Petroka? Naturally, you will train with us too. got to do with this enough of your whining we begin training right here right now hurry and make preparations training isn't gonna give me four arms you know I'm not doing it no way tell me Good sir, is this the extent of your wares? Sure is! What you say is what you get! Alas, it seems the treasures I seek are nowhere to be found. On another weapon shopping spree, Perdido? That is hardly an accurate assessment. Unlike you, I am not in the habit of purchasing every weapon that I set eyes upon. Hey, I have some standards too, you know. You are too flighty, Troka. At least try to give each weapon the attention it deserves. Oh, shut up. I'm not the one with four arms and a weapon in each. Hmm. Don't you use any projectiles? Projectiles? They are the domain of my driver. Uh, I don't think you're quite getting the point. You give your driver a projectile to use, then you don't use any yourself? What's up with that? It's your own weapon. Why don't you try using it? <sighs> it does not suit my style. As a warrior, I prefer to confront my foes directly, man to man. Jeez, you're like a child sometimes. What do you even say to that? That's so like you, Pedido. I can just see you locking eyes with the enemy in a clash of blades. Ah, my driver. You understand me so well. Seriously, though? I mean, what kind of fair fight is it when one guy has four arms anyway? Hmm. You may be right. But such physical advantages are not necessarily a guarantee of skill. Even four arms, if used ineffectively, can be no match for a single blade. And a true master of the warrior's arts can defeat multiple armed foes with his bare hands alone. It comes down to a question of how far one is willing to hone oneself. That is why the path of the warrior is so difficult, yet so rewarding. Sounds right. Oh, come on, you're just gonna go with that excuse? This guy is so against the rules. This will bring swift victory.
Nice one! Gotta be near somewhere. I've been fishing since I was a kid. Oh! Fishy, fishy! Can't wait to give this a try! For me. On you go. Leave the rest to me, Fiora. Let me do it. Time to attack. Okay, look at me. Just what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Muscle decisive fat. blow. Red garlic. Galactic. Now it gets interesting. Don't let up! Interesting. Why not? Sure. Interesting. The enemy's element is now fire. Don't be so tense, Nia. Ah! Great muscle slap. I really like our vibe. We can do even better than this. Life isn't all gloom and doom. Dead. Shut right, the right is spot. I feel better than ever. Just what I was Bandem, thinking. Bandem, you think highly of Rex, do you not? Ah, oh, that little shrimp reminds me of my boy. I'm all right. So what? Spot. You're a brave one to challenge us. Rah! Muscle slap! Break! Down! Ha! Oh, you can't do that! Look at this! Right on! Sure. A bro no! Ugly customer, huh? Yeah! Yeah! Got it well in hand! Yes! 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 No effect. Pedido, oh, no. We must enjoy. Yes. There's more with us, Tom. This is nothing compared to that time. Just do what we always do. Fine spot. Sure. Steady on. Really, folks. Why not? 
Should have followed the script. I made tea for everyone. Help yourselves. Oh no! Why are I getting it completely wrong? Oh? Would you rather have something else, Tora? Oh no, no, that not it. Um Tora just think that if Pyra going to do maid job, Pyra should be more maidy. Maidy? Tora, Pyra was kind enough to make tea. Can't you just be bloody grateful? Oh, Tora knows that, but also strive for perfection is important goal. Tora feel very strongly about this. Most important thing for maid is um. Oh, knock on word is uh, <laughs> blushy crushy. Yeah, Pyra's still quite lacking in that area. Uh, I'm lacking? But what on all rest is blushy crushy? It, uh, what every man looking for. If Pyra master art of blushy crushy, then all men fall at Pyra's feet. Uh, all men? Really? Yes. Uh, it is known fact. Listen, Vida. There's no point paying attention to this little twerp. But... Is Pyra interested in essence of maidiness? Yes, I am. You cannot be serious. Good attitude! Tora will teach maid art of blushy crushy. Welcome, Tora's maidiest assistant. How may I be of service, Master Pon? <laughs> Poppy? What the hell happened to you? Is this some kind of malfunction? Poppy's maidiest mode has been activated. <laughs> Poppy will teach you all about essence of maid behavior. Blushy crushy is external magnification of love feelings inside heart. Poppy will teach magic way to magnify love feelings. Chant with Poppy. Uh, okay. Cutie cutie, lovely lovely, blushy crushy, tee hee. Pyra, please do not tell me you're gonna... Cutie, cutie, lovely, lovely, blushy, crushy, teehee. Oh, there we go. Mm, not quite copy poppy exactly. Yes, coach. Please, Pyra, come back to us while you still can. <laughs> <laughs>